Alors là, géothermie, haute énergie, high energy, euh, non conventionnelle. Non conventional geothermal energy Donc, production. On We're going to look at a uh, resource in excess of 150 degrees euh, Celsius, which is the definition of high temperature de geothermal energy euh, production. Mais dans un cadre où, euh, But non conventional means that priori, on va chercher à modifier le milieu. We try to uh, modify the environment in order to use the energy and this is what happens if we uh, drill very deep. The main aim is to produce electrical power and some heat. And for non-conventional geothermal energy production, there has been a very specific evolution in the concepts, the principles, largely following the Sulze Soufore experience. I'd like to uh, come back on the concept because it's a major concept and it has uh, led to a shift in paradigm. The initial idea was uh, HDR, hot dry rock, the hot dry rock concept. The idea was to transpose the situation found in the uh, Paris area with a naturally porous environment in which a fluid circulates. And the idea was to use the circulating fluid and uh, so we tem attempted to transfer this idea to places where the uh, porous environment does not naturally exist. So the idea is to introduce a porous environment to fracture the environment artificially to make it more porous. That was the initial idea, the creation of a deep aquifer in which an artificial fluid would be circulated to extract heat and produce electrical power. But following the Sulze Soufore experience, it was, uh, we observed that there was a natural fluid circulating. There was a porous space with a natural fluid circulating. And in the Sulze Soufore experience, it appeared singularly that uh, this uh, fluid was salty. It was like an underground uh, ocean. And actually, the fluid was even three times saltier than uh, ocean water. And the idea was the, uh, that the environment was not dry at all. So that was the first evolution. Second evolution. La deuxième observation qui a fait évoluer le concept, c'est que la circulation était. Fluid circulation was quite substantial. This was found by measuring the temperature profile in a borehole in the Sulzus forêt. Imagine that we drop a small sensor in a borehole under the surface uh, down to 5,000 meters of depth. The temperature changes in a non-continuous way. It will change very quickly during the first 1,000 meters in the sedimentary part of the borehole. And then as we reach the deeper parts under the sediment layer, the temperature does not change as quickly only about 10 degrees per kilometer, and then in the end, the evolution will be 30 degrees per kilometer again. So why this strange behavior? Well, because over several thousands of meters, there is a kind of loop that circulates fluid. Starting from a dry system where the porous environment had to be created to reach fluid circulation, to this situation, we understood that there was no point in creating an artificial porous environment. So this new concept was called enhanced geothermal system, EGS. And the basic idea being that a lot happens naturally that we can use. For instance, an environment where fluids circulate naturally with the existing fractures, and also natural fluid circulation that must be used, can be used. According to this new concept, we don't try to create a reservoir. We use the existing fractures. And what we need to do is make the drilling wells of the boreholes to go and recover the uh, existing fluid. And also uh, feeding uh, 
tariffs have been introduced, a buyback price for the uh, energy that allowed us to plan investment Alors, over several uh, years. The non-conventional aspect consists in modifying the uh, environment. This can be done with hydraulic stimulation. Oh, it's stimulation, but mainly uh, hydraulic stimulation. Hydraulic stimulation is quite different from uh, hydraulic fracturation, fracturing, uh, where fracture is caused by increasing uh, water pressure. Here, an existing fracture is used, pressure is applied in order to make the fracture bigger. So there are three main stages in this system. The initial state status is an existing fracture. So we don't create a fracture. We actually use an existing fracture. The second stage consists in uh, applying pressure until we find that the pressure drops because there is shearing taking place, causing a micro seismic activity. And finally, the final state is uh, the effort is renewed, except that because of the latency, when there is sharing, the fracture will open up because of the sharing and because of the local topography in order to go over the asperities. And the fracture will remain more open after processing and simulation than before. This is why some people refer to this hydraulic simulation as hydro shear. This is what takes place underground. But for the technology, we need also an above surface uh, plant that will allow for large scale circulation. And the plant, there are two main systems. The geothermal loop pump and the geothermal circulation stop system. And the second part of the system is where the specific fluid will recover the heat from the geothermal loop carry the heat to the turbine that will produce electrical power. This is the secondary loop, ORC. We can estimate the difference from the two between the two fluids from the flow D, density of the fluid, raw calorific capacity and temperature difference between the input TE and the output TS in French. Now, if we apply parameters, that were used in Soulce Souforet. We find that uh, the balance is 9.5 megawatts, thermal megawatts, with a uh, calorific capacity of 4,200 joules, uh, with a density of 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter, a flow of 25 liters per second. Input temperature is 160 degrees, and output temperature is 70 degrees. Those are the uh, really the figures characteristic of this technology. So you can bear them in mind. At a given pressure, a production pressure, a pumping pressure of approximately 20 bars, and a reinjection pressure of approximately 50 bars. With these figures in mind, thermal production is 9.5 thermal megawatts. A 10% yield uh, for approximately uh, 10 megawatts production. So Soult Souforet is a moderately uh, yielding uh, plant, but we have all the figures to estimate the production in such a system. Mm -hmm.